Good morning from Jaisalmer. Hi, my name is Ivana and it is almost 6 a.m. We're up so early because we're catching a train to job for today. At the train station and it is literally 6.05. <laughs> I am 45 minutes too early, but you know, if you watch my vlogs a little bit longer, you know I have an issue with being on time so better too early than too late also check out these seats they have at Jaisalmer station even like the waiting benches are freaking pretty amazing our train is here I think and yeah I don't know where I'm sitting. <laughs> I think this is S2, second class. I have seat 47. I have no idea. They'll probably kick me out if it's not right, but everything is empty. What is this? This is an Indian train. Why is everything empty? Okay, the tourist girl was literally escorted by the police to the right, uh, to the right compartment. So I'm now in sleeper class S2 and. I requested the upper berth because you have the most privacy then. Still, this train, why is it so empty? Huh. Indian train, an empty Indian train, what is this? Okay. Climbing, I think it's upper berth. 47. 46, damn it, where is it? 47. Okay, I don't think this is the right one. There we go, 47. I think, where is it? 47, I think this is correct. This is actually quite some space. You know, you always see those mad crowded Indian trains and to be fair, I always book 3AC if I have a night train or something. But this is the first time in sleeper class and I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm drawing conclusions too early. This is ridiculous. Even an Indian sleeper class compartment has a freaking power outlet. We don't have that in Dutch trains. Like what? It's okay. Jodhpur is called the blue city because a lot of it is blue and I think it is my favorite Rajasthan city until now and this is the room super simple but it's fine the view is also absolutely stunning but I will show you later maybe at sunset or something like look at this place look 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 it's too pretty I'm going to take a million pictures here. I can't. Um, yeah, so I'll show you the view later, but I really, really need to eat and I need to take a nap because your girl is tired and she's hungry and that's not really good for my mood. You think I'm always nice? No, 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 but I was, I was freaking out. Well, not really freaking out, but I was not being the nicest person on earth. To the, um, to the guys who checked me in because they were like, yeah, little, little Wi-Fi in your room. I was like, no, I need to upload videos. They're like, yeah, you can sit in the reception for 10 hours. Are you for real? No, no. So I was, mm, I was pushing it, but in the end, it turned out that I 
can upload videos from my room. This is a sign though to myself, like I need to eat, I need to sleep because I'm becoming a monster. I mean, look at this place. It is absolutely freaking stunning. It is the India you see in pictures. I did apologize to the guys when I was running. I, I just told them like, I'm so sorry, but my work is very important to me. And also I am very, very tired. So my patience level is like this. Here's a better view. Look at that. So pretty. I can't. Doesn't this look like Disneyland people? Look at this. Wow. Okay, so this one's ruined, but <laughs> I don't want some pretty. Look, look, look. And over there. Oh, I just love blue, man. Blue and pink. My favorite Indian combo. Look at this. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. Look at this combo of blue and pink. Oh, love it. Look, 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 look. So pretty. Like I can't. Yes, I found food and I was craving dosa so badly. I know I'm eating the wrong foods in the wrong city, yeah, 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 yeah. but really, if I want to have a dosa, I just need to have a dosa. No good. Look what they gave me, by the way. Nah, bro. I want to eat this. people got upset with me because I was eating the idli with only the coconut chutney and not the sambar don't shoot me but I have a thing for the coconut chutney I can appreciate the sambar but the coconut chutney mm, so good Fine dosa, I'm feeling good and I'm walking back home to my guest house to take a nap. Really, really nice. Also, someone, I don't know, I think they were annoyed by me not eating like the local traditional dishes in every region or in every place. For instance, in Mumbai, I didn't have the, what is it? Oh, I will put it here, the, the name of the dish. But the thing is, I eat whatever I feel like. So if I am in the mood for dosa, and I'm in Rajasthan, I'm gonna eat a dosa. I'm not gonna eat something else because I have to or something. You have to eat whatever you feel like because that's the food you're going to enjoy the most, you know? And it's not that I don't want to try local things. Of course not, I do. But yeah, I just eat whatever I feel like and I will try to eat as many local dishes as possible. And also sometimes I don't know the local dishes. So if you can uh, recommend me on Snapchat, that would be awesome. You're already doing it in the comments, but like I said before in the comments, I don't know, for me it's harder to look it up. While on Snapchat, I can just take a screenshot and then I have it on my phone. So if you want to recommend me something for, well, today we are leaving for, um, when you're watching this, this is a week later. When you're watching this today, we is it Wednesday today? I don't know. What day is today? Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. So tomorrow we are leaving for Delhi. And today I'm in Agra. And if you want to know where I am, you need to check out my Instagram and Snapchat. Because on Instagram, in my bio, I share where I am. Not, you know, very specifically, but the city at least. So recommend me food for Delhi. There are so many cows here. Look at this cutie. Isn't they beautiful? How are you doing? They're very cute. Even though no cars come in these streets because it's just too narrow, this traffic is kind of local, man. So many motorbikes, so many rickshaws. There's a cow peeing over here. No. Yolo. Doesn't matter. Look at his face. So satisfied. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I literally feel like half a human being again now that I have eaten and eaten well. But I still have to take a nap to feel like a normal human being. 
therefore I will get some food so I don't have to go out later and we can watch the sunset on the rooftop wow just wow look at these colors I can't even I, I have to take a picture here but I will do it on another day in the meantime this is like my ideal house like unicorn house <laughs> look at the pink and the green and the purple and the blue yes I would totally live here. Somebody also asked, how do you navigate all the time? Because the streets are so small and it's really easy to get lost. It's true, but not just here. <laughs> Every city in the world. My, my internal GPS is uh, not that good. I always use Google Maps and I preload the map. Well, of course in India I have 3G, but you can also use it offline. So you just load the map in your location when you have Wi-Fi and then the GPS just follows you around and it's very easy to navigate. Whoa, apparently I ran into some kind of market with all kinds of pretty Indian clothes. Maybe I should get another kurta. Having the best time here. This market is freaking awesome. But we are here for this, Shahi Samosa, supposedly the best fast food in Jodhpur. So this is all they have, Shahi Samosa, something super traditional, more traditional Jodhpur food. I want it all. Well, who's drooling right now? So I got a Samosa. Uh, mirchi vada, so the chili bomb, and the onion potato vada. They don't have the kachuri. Next time. That's gonna be dinner. <laughs> and this market, oh man, this is perfect. It's crazy. Also, it's very, very dusty here. But this market is bomb. I love it. Remember what I said about the view? Damn. We don't have the best view for a sunset, I think. I don't think we're high enough for that, but still. This is good, right? Let me try to turn because I'm standing on this little wall. It's not high or anything, but I don't want to fall with the camera in my hands. Look at this. Blue satay. Oh wait, did I show you this? I think this is the fort. Just randomly thinking that. Uh, too bad. We're just still a little bit too low to see a great sunset, but still, it's very beautiful. Also, the kids here are freaking cute. There's a little girl over there. And even on the streets, they're all saying, hi, hi, hi. Wait, can you hold the camera still? Hi. <laughs> She's so adorable. Hi. <laughs> Actually, also the ladies here are very, very nice. The only thing not nice for me are groups of guys. I don't like that, so I don't talk to them. <laughs> But in general, people are super nice. And also I read online that Jodhpur is quite famous for the people being so nice and so sweet. They are just as sweet as, as their sweets. That's what the internet said to me. <laughs> and the sun is down. I'm not hungry at all. I bought those snacks, but not hungry. It is now, I think, 6. Mm, 5.45. What to do, what to do. I have to admit, the view from my room is to die for. It's really nice. Okay, please don't be mad at me that dosa was super filling, so I cannot eat those snacks anymore. And it's already uh, almost 12 a.m., so I don't eat that late anyway. Please, please, please don't be mad at me if you were looking forward to the tasting. And also, some people will say, like, oh, you have to eat it fresh, otherwise, it's not good. Trust me, just like a cold pizza, sometimes those snacks taste even better when they're cold. So I'm sure I will enjoy them as breakfast tomorrow. Okay, hashtag FML. I can't find the other restaurant either. But I have to say, Jodhpur is not easy with food. Man. If you would like to travel along, click that subscribe button. And if you like this video, put a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.